ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਵਾ 3D ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਪਟੈਕਸ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਇੰਸਟਾਲ PQ Pi 1.2 ਓਕੇ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਟੂਡੇ ਵੀ ਇੰਸਟਾਲਿੰਗ ਅ ਆਪਟੈਕ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ Pi 1.2 ਓਕੇ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਕਲਿਪਰ ਸਟਾਕ ਸੋ ਸਟੇ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਫਸ ਵੀ ਗੋਇੰ ਟੂ ਅ BQ uh, GitHub page go to uh, that cb1 folder because the cb1 is for the uh, bq pi 1.2 they both are similar so we go there download this release download it so i'm going to download the full file and then how uh, we are going to install it okay um downloading it is done so um for a cb1 and uh, i have a two options either we are flash it for sd card for this raspberry pi or a uh, rufus or different stuff okay you choose whatever you want to uh, choose it like which is uh, pretty easy for you easy to use for you choose that method ਸਾਰੀ ਟੂ ਜੀਬੀ ਸਟੋਰੇਜ ਐਸ ਡੀ ਕਾਰਡ ਓਕੇ ਮਾਈਕਰੋ ਐਸ ਡੀ ਕਾਰਡ ਰੀਡਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਸ ਟੂ ਅ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਪ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਐਨੀ ਡਾਟਾ ਔਨ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਡੀ ਕਾਰਡ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬੈਕਅਪ ਇਟ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਆਲ ਫਾਰਮੈਟਡ I'm going to first try with the uh, Raspberry Pi let's see if it's work or not so there is none of the Raspberry Pi stuff so no filtering I'm going to choose custom storage where I store it CB1 open it to the storage and then next edit it choose all the stuff is here set up according to your a uh, username password all this stuff your wifi as your local locality all the data stuff and then press yes and then yes wait and uh, it's writing wait it when it's finish then we insert this card into the uh, pipe bq pi until the sd card writing is finished i'm applying the heat sink on the board peel this off straight cut and then apply it on the middle of the board so we cover the uh, ram and processor okay uh peel this of this sticker and apply middle of the uh, board and uh, place it middle of the board and press it so heat sink is applied as the card waiting done now it's uh, verify the as the card when it's complete it's all done after the uh, sd card finish we should go into the uh, sd card in the system configuration and then you should change uh, this wifi ssd ssid and the password with the your uh, 2 gigahertz wifi connection okay so add your uh, wifi ssd ssid and the password is here uh, 2 gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz there edit change it save it. then unplug the sd card and then insert into the uh, pipe now or is then sd card we insert it here back side of the
a done. Now I power it with the uh, USB for now. can get the green light here if you power with the USB type C keep this uh, keep this jumper on and then uh, if you give it a power with the USB type C okay then you get the green light uh, green light aaji eh, on rakhna jumper red color da on rakhna green light aaji ki je C type na karna agar 24 volt ya 12 volt na power supply deni hai you should leave it then you remove you, you should remove it okay when the pi is turned off you have uh, some few options like a uh, use some kind of ip finder software you get this uh, bttc v1 when it's boot up it takes some 2 3 minutes or uh, you can find it to the uh, uh you are modem uh, login page you can find the ip address there you can uh, ip config ip stuff like that in command prompt or something like that or um, yeah there is a lots of option you can find it like like i do the uh, ip finder scan it there's there okay done then you can get it so put it on the uh ip address at the your browser okay i get the ip address here one here and the uh, page is up and run now it's your bq file is up running you just need to install a printer.config file and then you are running okay when it's running uh um put the stuff here so i have str uh, to re b motherboard so i put everything accordingly here every data is here my in the printer.config file and uh, you if you started the first time then you should re, uh, refresh the update manager and you get all the updation stuff is here so when you are compile the uh, clipper firmware uh, you should confirm it's on the latest firmware so i update everything start updating let uh, when it's done it should be a restart and then try in later upgrade full done close it check it okay all is done here after your printer dot config is ready and all this stuff is up to date then you should move to the uh, terminal it doesn't matter which terminal you want to use use it that's all up to you okay set up the terminal and then we are going to start the next step uh, i'm going to a new season ssh and then the host name what host name we have it here this one is our host name one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot three okay so this is our host name the port is two two or uh, I'm using this software like that's all up to you so like i add a new stuff here so new 
what I whether your name, username, password, save it here, and then you are the going to no need to add uh, all the stuff is again and again. I add a password and save it there, whatever you put it there, all up to you. So I add a specific, I choose it and press it OK. So it's all by logged in, no need to add anything else. Now we are going to a next step. After this, um, moving to the easy solution. So installing this stuff. So I install a key how key how I don't know. Maybe I pronounce it right or wrong. I don't know. So I'm going to a GitHub page that key how, and then we copy this stuff from copy and paste it and press enter it should be automatically done the next command paste it enter it and then next command paste it and enter it okay so we are here so what we do here we are going to build a clipper firmware for our motherboard we are going to advance we are going to build only to dependency okay our have a specific what we are doing here according to you choose what processor you have like I have a yeah STM microcontroller 32 this one and I have a processor is uh, this one STM 32 f429 this one and everything is same same okay so the processor model number bootloader crystal and uh, we are connecting a USB or a communication bus that's up to you okay I'm going to uh, default USB stuff all this now I'm pressing a Q okay then I yes it's saved so building process is started it's take a few seconds according to your pi uh, stuff and powered because this all stuff is uh, all along uh, doing into the uh, pi bq pi it took some few seconds not So it's almost there. Just building, all done. It's linking and it's almost uh, there. Okay. So they said how everything is done. So processing is done, everything is done. The file is there. Okay. So why I'm using this software? Because it's easy. Because um, when I'm doing some compiling a stuff, stuff like the other clipper or something else. So I'm easy to go in clipper out and uh, as clipper dot bin so you can find easily uh, stuff so I'm, when I right click download it and where I want to download just click there press ok and it's downloaded start here it's done done easy
easy peasy that's why i'm using this software this after downloading the uh, your firmware i'm going to a folder where i download it i copy it from and going to a uh, usb paste it here and i rename it to firmware okay now i insert this sd card it's uh, it should be maybe i i am not sure it should be 1 gigahertz 1 gb or 2 gb enough for the flashing the firmware to a printer so copy it rename it now it's ready to flash the uh, motherboard to the printer flash the firmware to your printer motherboard and then it's done okay i'm insert this uh as we got to the printer and press restart insert it printer it take a few seconds to flash the uh, clip of firmware so i attach it by a usb by 1.2 by usb to this printer okay so it's done take a few seconds then i'm checking the uh, serial number of the printer to the Uh, BQ as care mother boot to the uh, clipper. Okay, how I find uh, the printer is flashed, mother boot is flashed, and uh, that serial ID. So here we are done. Here everything is here. I'm not fitted yet. So I press the five to get a. MCU ID. So I am connected by a USB. So I press one for a USB. They identify the mother uh, motherboard. So I copy this and I'm go back to a printer. Then I might replace here. Okay, you should replace by this from this. Flash Dave's Okay Delete oh. the old one I Paste it new one Okay So that is there Now I am Save and restart And You should go okay. Your printer is connected Here, all this stuff, everything is showed there. So, check it. Um, pretty much everything is done. Uh, this, all this stuff is for a SKR two ray B. And this is a. Uh, BQ B1SC plus printer. If anyone need any help, comment please. Here, the temperature, all this stuff is showing there. Okay, uh, all stuff is ready. So. Printer dot com key for the most specific motherboard SKR two and uh, the I put it everything here. You should choose everything accordingly. And now um, we are trying to first form.
I mean, it's done. Like if you don't know uh, your uh, end switch is uh, open or closed, you just need to refresh it. Okay, like before warming all, like you should refresh it, check it if your end stop is working good or not. Like if it's still triggered when it's open, you should change uh, something into the uh, printer or config and then you uh, have to continue it again. Okay, so, so you should carefully the end stop, uh, yes, end stop, end stop there and you should add it this explanation sign and remove it according to your preference like if should it open or trigger something okay so this is the main thing you should uh, take care about it for your end stop okay uh, here is a main tip if you are a new so make sure make sure home all make sure your end stops is working good okay so if you are not sure push your end stop button by with your hand with your finger okay then press refresh if it's triggered or not open then you get assured so it's working okay whatever you want it or otherwise it's inverted like if it's trigger when it's not pushed that means you need to invert it okay if it's open you, if you are not pushed that means it's okay work so you have to check it is inverted or it's working so you should make sure before you uh, home all okay like if i move x to 100 then i refresh it it means it's open so that means it's working good if you push it by with your hand then you refresh it it's triggered so like i press x home it's home now it should be a triggered because it's working fine okay so before home all you should ensure okay your all ends of it's working good so that it is how we can configure flash uh, main cell OS for the uh, BQ Pi 1.2 okay and I'm using this for the SKR 2 revision B motherboard for the printer so this is my configuration your configuration may be a difference so make sure everything's confirmed before you edit anything okay so this is the setup for the BQ 1.2 for the printer what I am using or motherboard okay so hope you find all your what you want and what you need it hope this videos help you okay so if you have any questions uh, please comment okay uh, thanks for watching please like share and subscribe okay I uh, get a new content for you next time I'm I'm working on the uh, Raspberry uh, sorry BQ uh, Pi 2 okay I set up that uh, Pi for the uh, next printer okay so please make uh, give a support to me okay so I uh, thanks you for watching the video okay again Please like, share and subscribe.